Hi, I'm Dr. Mark B. Hubble, and this is your Monday morning mini message. I had a great weekend, got to spend some time with different people in the recovery community at the We Recover rally in Manassas, Virginia on Sunday. Got to talk to Angela Myers from the Oxford Houses, Katrina King, and Tim Ryan, who's a nationally recognized recovery advocate who helps numerous people get into programs, rehabs, detox centers, and travels around sharing his message and his story. He's written a great book called From Dope to Hope. So if you get a chance, check that out, From Dope to Hope by Tim Ryan. You will not be disappointed. It is a very powerful story and a very good read. Another thing that I was able to do this weekend was officiate a wedding. Uh, one of my good friends got married, and I wish him and his wife nothing but the best. Now, I was thinking about relationships. I'm getting married in a couple months, and some of you out there might be in a relationship. And what I realized after reading a book recently called Love and Respect is that's what most conflicts stem from, is either a lack of love or a lack of respect. Men traditionally by nature like to be respected and then loved. Women traditionally by nature like to feel loved and then respected. Now, they're very close, but usually one is just a little bit higher than the other on the hierarchy of things that most men desire and what most women desire. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 33, it says, Men, each one of you must love your wives, and each wife must respect her husband. So even the scripture shows that you know we're cut from two different molds as far as things that we desire the most. In my own personal life, I noticed that with me and my fiance, if we ever got into arguments or conflicts, it usually stemmed from either me feeling like I wasn't being respected or her feeling like she wasn't being loved. So the problem with this is that if one person stops showing love, then the other person stops showing respect, and then that creates a distance. It creates a huge chasm that's very hard to repair and very hard to rebuild if one person doesn't stop the crazy cycle and say, okay, I'm not going to worry about the other person. I'm going to start showing them love or I'm not going to worry about the other person. I'm going to start showing them respect. So think about this. If you're in a relationship and you're not feeling loved or respected, the worst thing to do is to counter that by not showing the other person love or respect. We have to stop the cycle. So when in doubt, show love. When in doubt, show respect. And see how that tends to alleviate any conflict and allow both parties to step back, figure out what's wrong, and start to fix it from there. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Take care and God bless.